is an older part of town here, um, actually outside of kind of where we live. It's only about six minutes. Um, we just got permission to, to hunt this nice and shady area. So I'm going to stay down by the road. I want to get up too close to the house. And we'll see what we can find. There's our boy right there. He's using his new shovel. The new Predator. He's a little legal. I guess he's got himself a good target there. What what uh, what tone were you getting? Silver. Silver, nice. Listen, we'll do a live dig right here. It's really de deep too. Really? Ooh, it's in there. Cool. Let's let's check it out. Use your pinpointer. Oh, so, yeah. so you can get used to it. He's used to me always holding it. So. And there's our other digger. Look at how lazy he's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, baby. You just, you just, you just lounging out over there. Okay, so the guy uh, who owns the place, uh, he's actually born at Fort Sanders where Nikki's working today. Min now. There's an old road. Min. Going through here. Uh, what is it? Min. Well, I'll keep checking. It might be more because you never know. Maybe that just got discriminated. So, did you did you check with your quail? Yeah, so I was check. Oh, see, there's more in there. That nail was trying to just kind of. Ooh, what you got, dude? You got silver? Oh, no way. No, it's not silver. What is it? It's a ring. You got a ring? It's a ring. Oh, let's see. It's pretty neat, dude. Keep that in your uh, thing there and just check it again and make sure there's nothing else. And we got a lounger over there. <laughs> That was it. Okay, well, put your plug back. Yep. Make sure you stomp on it because it's really dry out, so we don't want the grass to dry. So anyway, here's the, the property. Lots of grass to hunt. Um, so yeah, he, he's the owner. He said that basically there was an old road cutting through here that kind of actually went back by that, base, that basketball hoop. And they used to dump all their trash back there. So maybe we'll find some treasure. Uh, master detector with me. He's actually uh, volunteered to dig this target for me. <laughs> We're out here kind of by the road, a big field here. Um, got a great, great signal right here. Only two inches, but probably clad, but hey, we'll dig it. Right, CJ? Right. You probably don't have to go that deep. Okay, right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. Not that that's good enough. Just go in a circle. Doesn't get any better than this. He loves that shovel, don't you? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Clean the plug clear over there. <laughs> Alright, let me check this for you and see if we can get it. I think it's still in there. Yep, yeah, still in there. Okay. Why don't you pinpoint it? CJ? We don't want to scratch it. Can I have that little tiny shovel thing? Yeah. Might be trash, who knows. Seems like it's a little deeper than two inches. Why don't you get your stuff out of there? I kind of will go and get my gloves. Yeah, we probably should. If it's glass, you gotta watch out for glass, man. I'm gonna go and get my gloves. Well, let's just get this real quick. I'll help you. Oh, look. I 
think I see silver. Whoa. Oh, what is that, dude? Wait, go slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pick it out. Whoa, what do we got, dude? Silver something. 1967, uh... Kennedy? Oh, sweet. I've never found a silver Kennedy, so that is awesome. Really cool. So these are 67, I think, are 40% silver, so... Hey, we'll take it, right, CJ? Definitely. Nice dig. Awesome. Cool. The little one. There's the little one. You having fun? <laughs> yeah. Are we finding silver? Well, on the way over to get him, this is just on the surface. It's a really old looking strut or something. Anyway, what do you think of that, Royce? You think that's cool? Isn't that cool? Wanna hold it? No? Okay. Alright, we'll get back to you. First thing CJ told me, I dug some iron out just because I wanted to check. And what else? What did you say? I said because you never know, it could have been a Civil War belt buckle. You never know. And he said, uh, he, he said, don't be jealous. So let's go see. So I've already started digging up on uh, the piece of iron, so it kind of looks man-made, but, you know. Oh. What do you think, Royce? Yeah? Yeah, he's happy. All right, let's see what CJ got. He's got Nikki's magic wand. Oh! What you got, dude? See, there's a iron thing. Oh. But do you see that? Yeah, what is that? Pull it out. No! <gasps> oh! Dude! Oh! Let me see, is that a medicine bottle? That's just like those medicine bottles we were finding. Oh my gosh! Does it say anything? Let me see something. It says something on the back. Dude, this is just like the one I just found today in the creek. You went and grabbed it. No, I didn't! Dude, that's crazy! I swear to God! I know you didn't. What's this? I don't know what that that's is. That's another cool lid. Yeah. Is that all your targets in there? Yeah, that's all. I don't know. I'm pretty that's I'm pretty stoked about that medicine bottle, dude. Let's see it one more time. It says something on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we'll clean it up and we'll look at it when we get home. I gotta get your brother. He's jealous. It Let's says see. like type USA nine. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Cool. I can't let's, believe let's that keep happened. How about me? Royce, what do you think of that? Is that cool what your brother found? Or this? <laughs> Which one? Which one? Which one wins? Which one, baby? Which one? That one's really cool. Your brother found. I think he likes that. Uh oh. Go ahead. What do we got there? We got a uh, smashed Rosie. I, I don't think we nicked it. You think it. it's been shot, or you think it's been? Kind of looks like it's been shot. Uh. Let me see. And I don't think we it wasn't nicked even it. that deep. I don't think we nicked it because no. uh, it was in the middle when we got it. Oh yeah, let's look. Yeah, it may have been shot. Have to clean it up. Something hit it. Really? It almost looks like a bullet hit it, and then it kind of went off to the side. Anyway. Can't really get the date off of it. Let's see. That'd be cool if we found it with a hole in the middle. Yeah. 1954. Hey, we'll take it. Cool. Nice, CJ. I thought it was trash. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ready? Keep on got going. Quarter signal here in CTX. 1245, 1247. Oh. Looks like he's got something. Oh, let's let's zoom in here. Oh yeah, we got silver. Let me check that out. What year is that, dude? Try not to scrape it. We definitely got oh, silver. Man. Yeah, that thing rang up so good. What is it? It's a 40. 
But what is it? It's a quarter. Really? Looks like a 42, 1942. Nice, dude. Awesome. We'll, we'll get it. that cleaned up. All right, everybody. Uh, we got C and I here, and uh, we're just going to do a quick wrap-up on the, uh, the boys' day out. Actually, we've got a couple hunts in this uh, yard nearby. It was a nice yard. It had a lot of tree cover, but a lot of mosquitoes. So oh, yeah, we are being killed. We uh, tried to kind of keep moving, so we were just kind of hitting, trying to go for the good targets. Uh, CJ got a couple interesting things here as well on his digs. Um, so, without further ado, all right, CJ, tell them about what we found. We'll start over here. So, uh, right here is a 1946 wee penny, I think, correct? That's correct. Very, very corroded. It's even hard to get the date off of it. Mm -hmm. We only got two wheat cents, and then what's the other one? We got a 1952D. Yep. I can't remember if you found that one or me. A little bit better shape. I think I found that one. And where did we get that? Um, we got this at the same house. We, uh... And who found that? I did, uh... We were... This was the day when we were being attacked by a bunch of mosquitoes. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think this is really old. It's like a sun, if you can see the eye and nose and stuff. And, uh, what's really cool is I found, actually found this leather on it in the whole hall. I mean, hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue twister. How deep was this? It was about like eight inches. It was really deep. And you got it on your mom's AT Pro? Yep. And what did it ring up as? It ringed up as like 99 and 88. Woo! Gotta dig that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cool. So tell us about this. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, so I was just digging, I was checking out what an iron signal would be, just in case it was, because I don't know what a... Uh, a buckle sounds like, but I'm assuming it sounds like iron. But I dug up this piece of trash, and in the hole was that bottle. And uh, Rick thought I uh, got it from the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you say that? Did we find some other ones, or? Yeah, he he. We uh, got a bunch of bottles from this other lake, so he thought I got it from the trunk. And that's another video to come, right? We got some cool bottles hunting with uh, uh, John from JD's Variety Channel, so yeah. we'll try to show that. We haven't had a chance to really clean them up yet. So anyway, we got a little bit of clad there, not too much. Actually, we got one 1965 quarter, just barely missed it. That one's the 90, and then we pulled the 65, and then right after we found this, we found this. Well, it wasn't that, but it was this. So tell them a little bit about that one, CJ. So uh, I was digging up the signal, and uh, we popped it out of the hole. And uh, for a second, we thought it was shot, but we still don't know because it uh, looks like like a llama would do it. But if it was me, I really nick, I really smothered that thing. You may have been able to do it. You're pretty tough when it comes to, to digging, but uh, yeah, I use both of my feet and I jump on it like a madman. <laughs> And that soil's really hard right now because we haven't got any rain for a long time. So, anyway, it's pretty interesting. And then uh, right after that, we pulled this uh, 1942 quarter. So, very happy about that. Yeah. And then the no last mark. Pretty worn. But. And then the last one is pretty neat. Tell us about the last one. The next one is a Kennedy, but it's not just no regular Kennedy. It's a silver Kennedy. Ooh. Have we ever found one of those? Nope. Our very first, and it is a 1967, great condition. Yeah, it is. 1967. It was, wasn't it actually like six inches or something? It wasn't too deep. Yeah. It sounded like it was a, a deep coin, but it was actually only about two to three inches down. I think that I nicked it we a nicked little it bit. nicked it a little bit there, but hey. Take it. We'll take it. Yeah, and these, uh, the 64 Kennedy is the 90% uh, silver, and then after 64 to 70, I believe they were made out of, uh, it was 40%, 30 or 40%, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, hey, we'll take it. So anyway, just a quick wrap up of some quick hunts with just the boys. Wishing mom was with us, but she's been real busy at work, so we'll see if we can maybe get out and get some video this weekend. 
All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting and good luck to you. Good luck. Oh, wait. What, what, this. Okay. We don't even know what this is, but we thought it was a token at first. And it looks like more like a buckle. It was pretty deep. So I think it's brass. Maybe copper. But if anybody knows, yeah, let us know. All right. Thanks for watching.